This video shows you how to create colour, pattern and texture on your white maquette body adornments. Individually photograph each section of your piece of body adornment. So every single shape and form you need to take a photograph of it so that you're able to upload them individually to Sketchbook app. You also need to be able to use your mood board. Select specific areas from your mood board that you would like to then translate onto your paper maquettes. It's really important that you stick to your colour palette. Your colour palette should be on your mood board. Upload one of your individual photographs to Sketchbook. Using Sketchbook, I have used the transparencies tool. This is to isolate the main shape. I then have repeated the main shape three times using three separate layers. On the fourth layer, I have uploaded one of the colour strips. I will show you step by step how I did this. Here I am showing you how you can copy and paste a layer onto another layer. Select a new page. I've copied over from the last layer and now I'm going to hit paste and what should happen is the image from the previous gallery now shows on this gallery space. I'm able to move it about, press the tick once you have it in place, press another layer, press the plus button at the top to create a second layer. I'm now going to copy the same layer again. paste button and now I have a second layer. Press the tick once I know that it's in place and then I can repeat the same process again. I suggest that when you're doing this for your folio you show at least three different ways in which you can add pattern, colour or texture to your shape. This bit that I'm showing shows you how I take colours from my colour palette and match them so that I can then transfer them onto my design. I can then go back and forward to this as many times as I like, taking colours directly from the colour palette and adding them to my design. I'm using the airbrush tool so that I can still see some of the nice textures from my design shining through the colour. Pause the video here just to be able to look at the little bucket section. The little bucket with the fill means that you're allowed to pour a colour from that bucket onto your design. So you can choose a colour from the colour wheel or from your colour palette or you can fill it with the transparency tool. Here I am tapping on sections that I have gone over with the pink airbrush. So I'm tapping on it with the paint pot tool and it's now pouring in a transparency layer to get rid of all those sections where I overlapped onto the white by mistake. This is a lot quicker than rubbing out around an object. I 
Another way to add pattern, colour or decoration to your design is by uploading images straight from your mood board. Always add your pattern or picture that you want to add on top of your design onto a separate layer from the initial design. So here I'm working on two layers. So my design is on the first layer and my photograph is on the second layer. I'm now using the transparency tool to rub away the sections that I don't want. The opacity bar that you just saw me sliding along allows you to make the picture really prominent or to fade it into the background. This allows you to be able to draw around exactly where you need to draw without going over a section. When you're using the transparency tool, try and think about what kind of tool you want to use to create an effect. So if you want a soft edge, use maybe the airbrush tool, or if you want a more hard edge, you can use the rubber. You can adjust the opacity of these and the hardness and the thickness of these lines by clicking on the tool item again. It's important that you develop different ways of approaching your design by decorating it using either different colours or different surface decorations. Try to show at least three different examples for each shape. Choose your favourite example for your final design. Remember to save all work and upload to your PowerPoint.